Hello artists. Today we're going to do an artwork inspired by the artist Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali was a surrealist artist. And a surrealist artist creates art that isn't reality. It can be like a dream, a fantasy, or thoughts in your mind. Dali's art reflected the dreams he had, like his painting of the melting clocks and the floating eyes and the clouds that look like faces and the rocks that look like bodies. He is very recognizable because of his funny mustache. He liked to dress in crazy clothes and had long hair, which people found shocking at the time. So let's take a look at some of his surrealist artwork before we create our own piece. enjoyed looking at Salvador Dali's artwork and how really cool it is to create surrealism and a lot of his artwork came from his dreams and it was very uh, very different right and that's what we call surreal so what we're gonna do for our artwork today is we're gonna play a little game to create our art piece so we're gonna draw some uh, create some drawings on a paper of some shape um, squares we're gonna cut them up and we're going to pick them out of a bag and then we're going to create our surreal drawing right so let's let's get started I'm gonna draw a straight line here straight line on this side doesn't have to be perfect as you see him wobbling here straight line here and straight line here so by the time we're done you should have one two three four five six seven eight nine squares rectangles boxes right and in each one, you're going to draw a different shape or object. You can copy me, you can come up with your own, be creative, right? So let's say here I could draw a pineapple. Okay, maybe here I could draw a donut. Maybe a heart here, something very simple. Here, ice cream, yummy. Here, mushroom. Again, whatever you like, you don't have to copy me. Here, I could do a sun. You're just coming up with different ideas, different objects, different shapes, but we want to be able to see and, and know what they are. Maybe here we'll do some pizza. Oh, I love pepperoni. Uh, we'll do a flower here. And my last one, let's see, oh, we'll do a fish. Okay, so now I have all of these different drawings here, right? We're not gonna color them right now, we'll come back to that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna cut them all to make their own, to just be by themselves, right? Because we're gonna make our surrealist artwork. And again, you can do your own, uh, create your own surrealist artwork drawing. You don't have to do this, but I think this is fun, if you, especially if you come up with different objects to draw and then we're going to combine three of these to make our own surrealist drawing okay i'll be right back okay so now i put the all of those drawings all of those objects inside this bag and i'm going to shake it up and i'm going to pick three and that is going to be my surreal drawing oh i got a fish Let's see what else i come up with a flower and one more, a donut. All right, so I'm gonna get started and I'm going to draw my surreal picture using these three objects. Let's go. All right, so now I hope that you shook your, your drawings up in a box or a bag and you're able to pick out three, maybe even four, to combine them together to make your own surrealist drawing, right? So this is a fun game. So I have my flower, 
my donut and my fish, right? So now I need to think of a way to put these three together to make my drawing surreal, right? Like a dream, like something you wouldn't normally see. Well, let's see. I'm gonna start in the middle with my, let's see, I'm gonna start with my donut. My donut, my sprinkles. Hmm, where is my fish? I think my fish is going to be swimming on top of my donut. See the other fin there. There's my fish. Maybe his fin is on top of the donut. There we go. And I have left a flower. So, hmm, how can I incorporate the flower? Remember, we have to make sure our drawing space is balanced. We're using the equal space. Um, and you can even add some other stuff in the background if you want to as well, but that's up to you. So, my flower. I'm going to put my flower over here. Like as if it's coming out of the donut. You know what? I'm going to add another one. Because I want to make sure, again, my drawing is balanced. Right? So here's my surrealist drawing. Would you normally see a donut with flowers coming out of it and a fish on top of it? No. So this becomes surrealism. Right? So I'm just going to go ahead and color this and I will be right back. I can't wait to see what drawings you did and what you come up with. Okay, so here is my completed picture. I actually wanted to make it even more creative and more surreal, so I gave my donut legs and some eyes here, and this actually winds up looking like arms and a hat or a head or hair. So again, my three pieces that I drew from my little game that I did earlier combined together creates a surrealist drawing. Now, once you're finished with your drawing, make sure you color it in. You can add a background, maybe, this guy, this donut would be standing on the ground. Maybe there would be the city in the background or it could just stay like this. I can't wait to see what you come up with, um, what you're drawing, what your surrealist drawing looks like, okay? Don't forget to send me the picture. Bye-bye.